I'm spending some time at my work table today with my books and my cats. Kind of the best way to spend a Sunday morning, right? Anyway, I did come up with um, another book that I thought I would mention for my flavor and fragrance vlog. It's very special to me and I can't believe that I didn't mention it before. Um, let me take a look at the title. So it's called The Cook and the Gardener by Amanda Hesser. And the subtitle is A Year of Recipes and Writings from the French Countryside. And this was a gift from my little sister back in the very early 2000s when I was still kind of learning how to be a cook. And um, I would say this book is quite responsible for getting me to observe seasons and seasonal foods and seasonal cooking. And um, I think because I was living in Southern California at the time, which is a climate that is so similar to uh, the Mediterranean and the French countryside, um, it was really easy made for me to follow along with these recipes and the ingredients and to find them in the farmer's markets. And so I would say that Amanda Hesser is, and her book um, is responsible for giving me a sense of the cyclical and the seasonal and for getting me to fall in love with um, things like fig season and nasturtium season. I don't know if she actually mentions nasturtiums, but you know, she got me to be aware of farmer's markets and seasons of things. So I guess she gave me a greater connection to the agricultural. And I'm really lucky that I live in California. I have access to so much and I'm so grateful for that all the time. Um, I think she also, I always was growing herbs, um, especially aromatic herbs in my garden. Um, but she got me to kind of think more about growing foods um, in my little flower pot garden. So I'm really grateful to her. She influenced me a lot and I actually sent her an email on Facebook and told her so. And I never expected to get an answer. And it was really fun. We actually had a tiny little chat, which meant a lot to me. I was a little like, hey. but it was really lovely that she took the time to answer. And um, there's another French book I was using at the time, because this is um, definitely touched with um, French cuisine, which I love. And um, I was a vegetarian and I learned to cook on another French book. And I'm gonna bungle the title, but it's something like, the Vegetarian Bistro. And um, it was by this other lovely cookbook author whose name I can't remember, um, but who traveled around the French countryside. And so her recipes are French country style, all very hearty and again, very seasonal. Very like easy if you just go to the farmer's market, you know, you can find the ingredients, very fresh, um, but just with no meat. I've never been much of a meat eater. I would never tell anyone else what to do. I just personally find, I just don't always have a hunger for meat. Like I, I just, I've always had that issue ever since I was young. Um, so anyway, so it's a really great um, book too, and it's a great companion to this book. And I'm gonna put both of the titles um, in the information section so you can check them out. And I hope you'll enjoy them as much as I do. And I wish you a happy Sunday and happy cooking. Thanks.